Hey y'all, I, I went, I've watched the video and I want to make sure I clarify something. You'll hear me talking about the super antenna. I did make a super antenna and what it is, is the ultimate antenna updated. And I done three things to the ultimate antenna. And one of the things that I done is in the antennas that I'm selling, both things I'm both antennas I'm selling on eBay one of the things is in there and when you see it you'll know what it is when you see it if you watch if you've been watching my videos you'll know right quick like what it is uh it's not in the pictures hello everybody this is Danny S. Hodge and today I got the Hapodge TV antenna software that I use it's got the signal meter. I'm going to show you how to install it. But first I'm going to show you right here uh, about the signal meter. Here's the signal meter. You click on start and and just a little ways up is uh, the signal meter. And this, and this right here is an updated version of what I've always had. The meter goes over 27 now. And by the way, as a... Uh, VHF channel as everybody's always asked me about does it pick up VHF? I want to tell you how I got this I've I've got this run up to my antenna that's that I have on my house and uh, I want to tell you this right here. I Updated the ultimate antenna like a super update update and uh, And I updated it so much that, that I couldn't use the Channel Master 778. And then here's the uh, the Win HR HVR stick 955Q. You want to make sure that you get this version, which I'll be showing you a picture of the box and everything. But you want to make sure you get this version so you can use the latest software version. If you don't get this stick right here, you're going to have the old software, like what I had, where the meter just don't go over 27. And all the kits that send the, all the antennas that I got on eBay and in the kits, they've all been updated uh, a week ago. I went and took them out of the boxes and everything, and I updated them. And uh, anyway, so if you order one now, it's an update. It's not the super update but it is an update. The super update, I, the super, I don't, I don't, I ain't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. But I did, I did do three things to the ultimate antenna. And, uh, this was like, this, what it does, what the update I done does, if it's like, if it's a 25, it'll make it a 26. If it's a, you know what I mean? Uh, it'll make the signal streak move up about a point, and that's in that's in them uh, antennas now. Okay, one other thing I was doing fitting to go with it. I think a lot of y'all's antennas is overdriving, and that's what this that's what when I done this super antenna, that's what mine was doing was overdriving, and I got a feeling a lot of y'all's antennas is overdriving, and in in, in the next video or so like I say I got about three videos that's connected I'm gonna tell you how to be able to tell if your if if your booster is overdriving and I'm in one other thing I'm also gonna do some antenna basic boot camp uh, videos like uh like selling antennas what to do how to get started I'm talking about how to make some money. All right, here's the video, y'all. Okay, put your, put your CD-ROM in the hole, and this right here should pop up. And I'm going to click Auto Run. And uh, that's the screen recorder software that I'm using. I made a video. Y'all didn't care two cents about it, so I deleted it. Okay, to bring this up, I'm clicking uh, English. And then I... I clicked the installed drivers there, the very top one there. 
But what happened here is, is I forgot to plug my stick in. So I'm going back and plugging my stick in and just got to find the driver for it. it. It'll do it now or it'll do it when you first plug it in, you know, cut your computer on and plug. It'll do it either way. But uh, it's best just to have it plugged in like before you ever mess with your CD-ROM just to keep things a little bit more simpler. Okay. It's finding the USB drivers. And what I clicked right there in the blue was skip obtaining drivers from Windows Update. I want the Windows, I want the disk to find the drivers, not the Windows. And uh, I click OK. And I reckon it remembers where I mashed to update what, you know, the first step while ago, because that's what it's doing. Uh, it just auto running, and uh, I just clicked the, uh, I just clicked that little square so it will show you, uh, you know what it's doing. But you you don't do nothing. This computer is doing its thing. Okay, this little thing right here pop up. You got to always click yes or whatever that thing says. <laughs> I can't, you know, when I'm editing these videos like this right here, I can't see. I'm looking at a little square, you know, in the editing window. But uh, it does this right here. Uh, it does that a few times. I made it big where I could see it. What it's saying there is it's saying install, and you got to do that, you know, naturally. If you click don't install, guess what? <laughs> Hey y'all, that super antenna I made, that joke is bad to the bone. I think it's about like equaled up to the double antenna, you know, or, or maybe better. Click the little white box that shows up here, up top. Alright, now, now I'm clicking installing the software. And uh, this right here is a little bit of a tricky part. Okay. Now what it's saying right here is there's an update. And I click download the update. So, uh, here I go. I'm, it, it automatically went to this page. And uh, I'm like, uh, like, man, you got to be able to roll with it. I'm like trying to figure out what's going on here. I had never used this version right here. All right, I'm just looking it over, and there's what I want right there. That's uh, the version 8.5. Click that. I reckon I'm going to click it. I'm going to click it sooner or later. All right, there it is. All right, I'm clicking save as. Uh, I want it to go. I'm, I'm clicking it. I want it to go to my desktop so, so I can find it easy. If you don't click, if you don't specify, it'll just go to downloads or something like that. But, but if you kind of a beginner at stuff like this, just uh, select desktop where, where you can find it. Okay, and it's going to download. It's going to take a minute here. All right, see right down there at the bottom where it's saying view downloads. What I'm gonna do is I'm clicking open folder, and uh, that's it right there. And I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna click run, and all this stuff. It takes a few minutes, and it it probably takes about 20 minutes to do this. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna click next. Okay, uh, whatever that says. <laughs> and now it says it's installing drivers. And I, I clicked on the top of that and just moved it out of the way where I could see. And uh, now it's installing the drivers from the 
uh, well, it's, it's, it's probably installing the uploaded drivers, the downloaded drivers we've done. Hey, I'm making my icon big so so you can see that uh I've done made a I've done made a video of the super antenna and I was just messing around why why this was doing this. Alright, see right here it says install. Click install. Man, this stuff takes time. I stay running down rabbit holes all the time. Okay. It's saying install again. It does this a bunch of times. Man, I can see like where if you ain't never messed with a computer much. Like, uh, you know, this stuff, I, and this right here is a fairly easy one. But some of that stuff, you know, is, is something else. And, man, them youngest can do this blindfolded. All right, now, it's saying activation required. So, I'm fitting in here in my key. All right, you got your key in there. You done checked it from the front to the back, and then from the back back to the front. I'm going to click OK here. Okay, and then it's doing all this again. All right, now it says it's activated. Don't check no boxes or nothing. Just leave it like it is and click next. And might have, yeah, might have to click next again. Or it might say install or next. But now it's actually putting the software on there. Okay, what I'm doing is why that was running. I do this all the time, y'all. Why that was running. I went in there and typing in her podge uh, signal monitor. And uh, so get that in there. It typed a little extra in there. But uh, you'll, you'll see what I do. And see that word saying that's updating there in the background. So you can do two things at one time. But uh, y'all, I do that all the time. Okay, I'm clicking download. And, uh. There it is right there. Click that, and then I'm also going to save that to the desktop. So I'm minusing that page. And what I'm doing here is, is I click Reboot Later. And you see me go back to that website where that download is, where the signal monitor is, and... uh. I was just giving it a minute uh, to finish downloading. You can reboot it all at one time. And I'm clicking Show in Folder. And uh, there it is right there, highlighted blue. So I'm going to double click it and go ahead and run the signal monitor. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. This part's pretty straightforward. And now it's running that. Even though it says 100%, let it finish. It, it'll, it'll stop whenever it gets through. Okay, there it is. Now click Next. And now uh, I'm going to stop my software from running and reboot. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to go to my icon. And I'm going to double click it. This is what it looks like now. It's a lot better now. I, I mess with this just a minute. Like uh, whenever I made the video, I mess with it just a minute. It takes a minute to start up. And then uh, I'm going to click the top one. I don't remember what it says, but I'm going to click the top one. That's the channels. Click next. I reckon I'm going to click next. <laughs> And uh, you got to click next again. Okay, now it's scanning for channels. Now the scan is complete. I'm going to click next. Oh, I think this runs a little faster like after the first time you use it. Okay, I'm going to go to the icon. 
and click the icon. I'm going to go down here and start click the signal monitor. You can put a shortcut on your desktop for the signal monitor. And I want to tell y'all, you can go look at the pictures on eBay if you want to. The update, I hadn't got the update in the pictures. Uh, I, I've got it like where it's a little something special for the people that's buying it. So they really ain't too much to know here. Here's your volume. Here's your up and down. It comes with a remote control when I done tried it and it works. You can change the channels right here. And uh, I'll go I'll go back to another channel. Which made my uh made this disappear. Okay, see now that's that's a, a twenty nine and I'll go to a, a VHF channel. Hey y'all, this antenna people, I get aggravated. People just don't people just don't realize in hell, man. You can't make you can't make them realize neither. Okay, this is the main thirteen point one that we watch here. That's VHF right there. And uh, and here's like you see this little gear icon right here. You click it, and it and uh, it goes here. And this is all I ever do right here, y'all. There's my channels. And uh, when a while ago, when everybody done the channel scan, you can move the slider right here, and it'll show all the channels. But uh, sometimes I right-click and select all and then delete them. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, you know, like. And then devices, you click device. And then there's there's my uh, little stick right there. So if you, if you like was going to do a channel scan, you know, you would click tuner. So on and so forth. Okay. And uh, I'm going to just click uh, cancel. I'm going to go back to the little TV right here and click it. Let's see. I'm see the monitor is gone again. Okay. And like if you want to record live TV, see this little red button right here? It'll record it. And, and hey, I, one time I recorded the Super Bowl. They like to threw me off of YouTube. <laughs> Here's the pictures. I'm going to show you the pictures of the uh, of what to buy. And make sure you get that 8.5 version. And don't be fooled about the key. Uh, it says it comes with a key. But what it's actually saying is, is you got to go uh, get the key out of your email. So you better be paying attention. And by the way, Apod Software, if y'all watching, I bought three of these right here. And I and y'all wouldn't send me the third key. Uh and I tried my best to get you to send me the third key because I paid for the third key. And so I boxed it back up and sent it back to Amazon. I hope y'all happy and me sitting here helping y'all like what I'm doing. Alright, thanks everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.